called out, you called out crying You said our love was worth dying for Yeah, that's why you keep on, you keep on trying But I'm really not moved by your tears no more Yeah, she said if I can't have you, baby Nobody else ever will yeah, Because you've been driving me so crazy I just hope that this love is for real Yeah, uh, She wanna hold me down and never let me go You're moving way too fast We need to take it slow, girl, high key You need to find somebody else besides me yeah, I understand that you like me, like me. What a thought though. Rejection is a hard Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I am starting off today's vlog with an active wear haul. I genuinely am really excited about this. As you guys know, I recently joined the gym. I think it's been over, almost a month now. I've been going consistently, literally six days a week absolutely loving it and i definitely need to add more active wear into my wardrobe because when i was working out at home i just like literally do it in my pajamas i don't care but now going to the gym i like to look nice feel good so i added some new pieces to my collection and i am genuinely so obsessed with this brand like the quality is top notch for the price so i'm really excited to share it all with you guys i literally wrote down notes so that i wouldn't forget to say what i wanted to say because everything is so nice i have been wearing it for a while now i've tested it out at the gym squatted jump exercise hit workouts and i love it before we get started i do want to say that i took the mic off my camera i had some issues with it peaking and it's sounding a little bit muffled so i'm just testing some different things out i just got this camera so bear with me if the audio is a little bit weird it should be fine um the external microphone just makes it a little bit more crisp but i gotta mess with some settings and stuff so we're testing this out today Okay, today's active wear haul is going to be with Yvette, so thank you so much to them for working with me and sponsoring this video. Something I really admire about this brand is that they're aimed to help women be active and daring and inspired no matter what age you're at, no matter what body type you have. Everything is functional, it's high quality, it's all aesthetically pleasing. They believe that the tiniest differences will affect the comfort of wearing it, so their size range is from an extra small to a 5XL, and they also have cup sizes ranging from A all the way up to to F. So personally, I went ahead and measured myself with some measuring tape and every single item fits perfectly. So if you need help with that, they offer size guiding through their Instagram DMs or on their chat on their website, which is so helpful. So with that being said, I'm going to hop into my haul. I will have all of my personal sizing linked down below in the description. And if you are interested in getting anything, you can use my code Alyssa15. We'll get you 15% off site wide, or you can use the code Alyssa20 and you'll get 20% off of orders $109 or more. I'm going to start with this Powerback Sports Bra. This is a women's running high support sports bra. Say that 10 times fast. It is wire free. It's designed for high impact. And I didn't think I'd ever be able to wear a V-neck sports bra like this. I thought I'd always spill out of it. But like I said, their sizing makes the tiniest little differences. And this fits me so well. It's so flattering. I don't feel like I'm busting out of it. The crisscross design on the back is so pretty. It's got the clasps. So it's very adjustable. There's uh, three different sizing on here. Sizing? Sizes? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get a custom fit because it's got the hooks on the back. Sometimes crisscross cross sports bras can be a little uncomfortable but this really cushions your shoulder and it's very flattering on the back as well i worked out in this i felt so comfortable so supportive nothing was gonna fall out you know this comes in seven colors i love this one so pretty you got size from extra small to 5xl and the cup sizes go from a to f so you can definitely find your size range here the next bra is called their ease me seamless and it is a one size bra that fits sizes extra small to a large it is extremely stretchy i'm wearing it right now so you can see how stretchy it is and it is so soft it is buttery the cups are removable i have them in personally i don't mind them it's definitely designed for all day wear because it's seamless and it's wire free and it really just feels like a second skin it's butter so this comes in two colors and it can fit cup sizes from a to c next up i have these leggings that i'm wearing right now and i am in love with these i know color a little bit crazy but i feel like i can do that with my active wear you know it feels right i'm allowed to say this they feel like lululemon aligned leggings and they are so much more affordable can we just give a shout out to the ankle on all of these like 
Hello, no space there. These look amazing. They fit right to my ankle. I am 5'1". I do have the fabric pulled up, you know, like it doesn't look bad at all, but if I wanted to pull these down, I totally could have like extra room. So if you're taller than me, don't worry. These are like very flexible for different heights and everything. I really wish that you guys could feel these though because they really are like butter. I know I say that so much, but it's so true. Like trust me when you get this one size bra and these leggings like you're not even gonna feel like you're wearing anything they do have an adjustable drawstring in the front i don't feel it's really necessary these fit me like a glove so if you need that like extra you know customizable option you got it it's a super soft fabric but it also has amazing support you can wear these for high impact workouts it's got four-way stretch technology so it ensures that all directions stretch for any type of movement these come in three colors they also come in black i will be getting the black ones for sure and they range from size extra small to 2xl next is this enfold crisscross sports bra so it's got this really flattering hole in the chest again you've got those adjustable hooks in the back this has anti-skid wide shoulder strap so it avoids slipping off of your shoulders and digging into them while you're working out and it is a sweat wicking fabric so you'll stay dry and comfortable it's designed for high impact sports it's really cute this one also comes in size extra small to 5xl and it comes in five colors these you guys these are the enfold multicolor leggings i wore these recently on a vlog i worked out in these as well these are all squat proof by the way these are really cool because they've got this really wide waistband here at the top it's not incredibly stretchy but okay you gotta do like the shimmy you know what I mean like, like you gotta get it over the butt once it's there it sucks you in it's so flattering they're so comfortable so while you have that professional support you also have a nice snatched look these ones come in four colors and size from extra small to an extra large before I forget I'm also wearing this v-neck sweatshirt it is black and then it's also got their logo on the back in like a pinkish reddish kind of color the v-neck is a really nice flattering touch I like to wear it off my shoulder I think it's so cute this is definitely an oversized fit but I feel like that makes it really versatile it's very casual so it's really suitable for all body types it can be worn just for daily wear or for working out this comes in a small to a medium and it comes in three colors as well these I've also recently worn. These are the Sculpt Mesh Cool Leggings. It has the breathable mesh in the leg, so it keeps you cool and dry during workouts. And it's also very flattering. I feel like the design of it just really makes the legs look so good. They've got a nice high waist, so it gives you a good tight fit. They're designed for high impact workouts. And it also has the adjustable drawstring in the front as well. So it's definitely super adjustable to whatever you need. These just come in the black and they range from small to 2XL. Lastly, we've got the most adjustable, customizable sport sports bra I've ever seen in my life. This is the Limitless High Support Sports Bra. It's got the two adjustable straps in the back. It's got a zipper in the front. And also in the waistband here, you can customize. This right here can unhook and then go into any of these like sizings right here. And it has that on both sides. So you really can get a nice snug fit. I feel so powerful in this sports bra. Like I feel like I can do anything. This also ranges from size extra small to 5XL and it comes in six colors. So that is everything that I got. I love love the sizing on all of this. I love that it can fit a larger chest. They're for high impact. They're high quality. And something that I think is really cool is that they have cool max technology, basically meaning that things like lotion, UV damage, sunscreen, sweat can really like harm the uh, material of your activewear. So basically it kind of acts like a shield to protect the spandex and material of it. It definitely makes it more durable, more comfortable. I just thought that was really cool. So again, you can use the code Alyssa15. You'll get 15% off site wide and you can also use the code Alyssa20. 20 to get 20% off of your purchase of $109 or more. Everything is linked down below. So I'm about to do something exciting. I am going to the gym with Natalie, but we're not just doing like a regular class. I'm gonna finally try 12, 3.30. I've been loving the classes and they're so fun for me. They're so like, get me out of the house at a certain time. But I, I really have been wanting to try 12, 3.30. So finally gonna try it. I'm gonna let you guys know my thoughts. I love Lauren. She's like my favorite YouTuber. And I've heard a lot of different things about this workout. Some people say it's really difficult. Some people need more after it. And some people I've seen have gotten really good results on their body so i want to see if it's something that i want to add into my routine maybe a few times a week i'm gonna put it on my apple watch as well i want to see how many calories i burn compared to a class i'm wearing my one size bra my sweatshirt and my blue leggings and we're gonna go try it out i'm so excited i just came in here to turn off the lamp and look at all my babies one two three that's so cute i'll be right back 
Oh, also, because I see you guys tagging me in it on TikTok, thank you so much. I saw you guys tag me in those Lululemon men's like jogger dupes at Target, and Zane actually did not like them. I did go and buy them. They were kind of baggy and not as like fitted and flattering as the Lululemon ABC joggers. The pockets were not deep enough, and they just overall like weren't his perfect fit. So I tried, but it didn't work out. I hope the rain don't come. Oh my lord, you guys. I don't know if it's because yesterday I did a really hard workout class that was like ton of squats, ton of lunges. We did like weightlifting. And so maybe my calves were just really sore from that. But I know it's a good burn. Like I've heard people say that it's really hard. So I understand that it might not be like it could have just been really hard but i will say it was difficult like the first like three minutes i was like i don't know if i could do this for 30 minutes <laughs> like my calves were hurting really bad but i can sit in zumba for 55 minutes i don't know um it's just a really crazy workout on like your butt and your calves and whatever i was like immediately sweating and it was a really good workout however like i had to lower the incline and i lowered the speed for a little bit then i put it back up to three and then i put the incline back up a little bit i kind of just like listened to my body and like how tired I was and like what I could handle and I went for 30 minutes on the treadmill like a fast kind of walk I mean three isn't that fast but like when you're on an incline it feels like it's like fast and really difficult so I did that and then we just went on the bikes for 15 minutes and we wanted to see because we like doing the cycling class so we wanted to see um like our we never get our like positioning right so got to see like how to put like our seat and our handlebars without like being rushed and having the class starting so then that was it it's a rainy day it's a sunday i usually don't even go to the gym on sunday but i really want to try 12 through 30 and i like doing the classes and sunday is the only day where they don't have like a, a lot of classes i think they had one zumba this morning but it was good i see why people like it would i do it every single day probably not i just am not like a i don't like working out do you know what i mean like i need to make it fun and so the classes it's good like being around like social interaction and the hype up of a teacher and like having to be there at a certain time i don't know if i would leave my house just to get on the treadmill like it wouldn't motivate me enough um it's just not my favorite type of exercise i prefer classes so that's that on that i will try again when maybe i'm not sore and also this time i didn't bring my headphones um i thought i was gonna be able to talk to nap but i realized that the machines are distanced apart for coronavirus so i kind of like scrolled through my phone a little bit then i watched the tv news that they had on so maybe once i have my headphones i'll be like more in the zone and more pumped up today was kind of like a trial run so there you have it we got our cat food delivered so now i have to carry this heavy box in in the rain and we're gonna probably make some dinner because it's a new fun recipe that I want to try and it's already four o'clock and I just had that sandwich that I showed you guys this morning So I'm really excited. I don't know how but I'm sorry the last three videos were like cauliflower rice themed I didn't mean it that way. I didn't plan it that way, but I made the TikTok cauliflower pasta which I posted a TikTok on it and I really like it so if you like it and want more food content on TikTok let me know but anyways we made that with the cauliflower rice and I made too much of it so then I was trying to figure out what to make with that and I found uh cauliflower rice balls from Skinny Taste I'm so excited to try because I love rice balls and I just I'm so excited and then the last vlog I think it was we went to Chipotle and tried the cauliflower rice so it's just been a cauliflower week I'm gonna turn it into a piece of cauliflower but I have the left over so i'm gonna try and make that tonight and we'll see how it goes okay i went ahead inside now and i'll see you guys in a little bit well we've got some major fails going on you guys i just pulled up the recipe and i was so like worried about taking out the chicken breast to defrost this morning so that we can have it on the side with the rice balls i took that out but i forgot to take out the chicken sausage that needs to go inside the rice balls so i have that defrosting in the microwave which i usually don't like to do but we're gonna hope for the best because i really want to make these tonight another fail mm, don't have shredded moths i know what an idiot <laughs> so make fun of me all you want but i have this reduced fat mexican style cheese from aldi and to be honest i wouldn't buy this again i don't think it has a lot of flavor which i feel like mozzarella doesn't have as strong as the flavor whereas this is supposed to be strong it's cheddar monterey jack and to me it tastes like pretty bland so i feel like we can replace the moths cheese is cheese whatever who really cares okay. 
So we're pivoting a little bit here. Let's hope it still turns out good. Look at how much cauliflower rice I have left over from when we made that dish. It only calls for two and a quarter cup. So I think we might have more here, but in case they come out terrible, I'm just gonna make one serving size. And then if they come out really good, then I can make them again, you know? I'm really upset about the chicken sausage, so I am very sad that I did not take that out today. Mm. Anyways, I'm gonna keep flipping them over in the microwave and hope that they, de they defrost nicely. I got them to like basically defrost, so now I'm just gonna have them sit in the microwave for just a second. I'm gonna prep, um, I'm gonna make chicken parmesan. I've made this a few times, I really love it. It's Skinny Taste Baked Chicken Parm. Um, the only difference is usually after it's done out of the oven, I like put it in the sauce on the skillet. I don't know if I'm gonna do that this time. On the recipe in the book it says to do that, but then online it says you can just put it right back into the oven instead of marinating it in the sauce, which I think makes it really good. But just since I'm making two different things, I, it might throw me off. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. So this recipe is for four chicken breasts. I only have one, obviously, so I'm just gonna quarter the recipe. I'm gonna do three tablespoons of breadcrumbs. I feel like that is plenty to coat both pieces of chicken. That's a little less than a quarter cup, because a quarter cup is four tablespoons. Don't tell me I didn't teach you nothing. And then also one tablespoon of grated parm, and we're gonna mix those together. That's gonna be our coating for the chicken. This really is so simple. Sorry for the lighting, by the way. I don't remember if I mentioned this in a vlog or not, but our one light that kind of is like right where I film all the time and where I cook is out. So we're getting another one, but if it's dark, that is why. It's not even dark, it just seems like off in here. It seems really weird. Okay, so I've got about a half a tablespoon of melted butter right here. I'm going to butterfly the chicken into two pieces, trying to make them as even as possible. Hey, that's not that bad. Pretty even. Now what we go ahead and do is take that butter, brush it on, turn them over, brush on the butter. Oh my God, I'm making a mess. Now we literally just dip them in that breadcrumb mixture and then put them on the baking sheet. Very simple. I'm just taking the rest of the breadcrumbs and topping it with it. Here's the chicken sausage. So I'm going to cut these out of their casing. Kind of already started popping out in the microwave, but the defrost worked pretty well. I'm impressed, I must say. I just wanna get this prepped now for the rice balls so that it's already done. I got all the dirty chicken hands out of the way. Okay, break. Thank you, that was dangerous. I don't really love defrosting meat in the microwave because I feel like if you don't do it like perfectly right, it starts to cook it sometimes, which is kind of weird. All right, we're spraying oil on top of the chicken and it's baking for 25 minutes. And now we're gonna start on the rice balls. Got our skillet on medium. I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil to the skillet. This recipe actually only calls for one link of chicken sausage. So I'm just gonna make all three and then set the other two aside and have them just like prepped for whatever we want. But I might as well just cook all of them because I already defrosted them. While that cooks, we're gonna make our breadcrumb and egg bowls so that they're ready to go. So one bowl is just one large egg. We're gonna whisk that up. The other bowl is a quarter cup of breadcrumbs, so I'm just using this tablespoon again. One, two, three, four. And then a tablespoon of grated corn. Mix those together. So if I was smart and looked ahead at this recipe a little bit more, I could have just stopped at Aldi when I just went to the gym and got Mott's. I, I think last time that I went grocery shopping, I was like, oh, we, we don't really use it that much. Can I speak English? I'm like, we like the cheddar, we like the Mexican blend, but like we use that all the time. I don't think we really need it. Now I've been needing it. But I just got off the phone with Zane and he's like, why don't you do the pepper jack? I tried it last night and it was really good. So I'm gonna do that because I think that might be a little bit better than the Mexican blend. We'll see. All right, I got the extra chicken sausage. We'll just set that over here to the side to let it cool. Here's where we have some fun. Look how funny this is, it's like barely anything, but it says to try to break it up into like the smallest you can get it. So I'm literally just like, mashing it up, making it into super tiny pieces. Okay, now we're adding our two and a half cups of cauliflower rice. So we've got one, two. Oh, good thing I didn't double this. I don't think I would have had enough. <laughs> and a half. Oh, sorry, smashed you. Also some salt. And then two tablespoons of marinara sauce. And we're mixing her up. I'm actually gonna lower the heat here because my cauliflower rice is already cooked. So really I just wanna kind of heat up the sauce and combine it all instead of like cooking the cauliflower. So I'm gonna leave it on a low. Now that it's all heated through, I'm gonna take it off of the heat and we're adding our half a cup of cheese. 
Here's where you would use moths, but I'm gonna burn my mouth on this pepper jack. I hope it's not too spicy. And we're gonna mix it all together until it starts to get like nice and cheesy. You can see that it starts to like string. Yes, ma'am. All right, so here's what it looks like. Nice and cheesy. I'm gonna get that in like a kind of even layer because we want it to cool off or we're just gonna like Make sure it's like spread out. And we're gonna let that cool so that we can form it into balls. So whenever it's like cool to the touch, you know? Also my chicken uh, is doneer than done. <laughs> Cause it's thin. So we're gonna take her out, put in a tablespoon of sauce on each piece and about one and a half tablespoons of cheese. And again, I'm just using the pepper jack. <laughs> and it's going back in until it's melted. All right, here we go, everyone. We're making the rice balls. We're gonna spray a quarter cup with oil and we're gonna scoop that out of here. So now you've got a quarter cup. We're going to shape it into a ball. Oh my God, success. This is on the borderline of some crafty recipe, but I think we've got this one. Here we go. Was worth dying for. That's why she keep on, keep on trying. But I'm really not bold. By your tears no more. You said your love was real. You said your love is strong. You trying to hold me tight and never let me go. I mean, I gotta admit, I'm pretty happy right now. Look at my chicken. Oh my god. Look at my rice balls. They came out so cute. Okay, we're gonna air fry them. 400 degrees for nine minutes, turning halfway. Let's do it. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. These are so cute. Here we go. 400. Nine minutes, let's go. Time to flip. Ooh. Okay, very carefully. I'm trying not to squish them, they're very delicate. I don't wanna ruin the shape. I'm gonna hit them with a little spritz of oil just so they crisp up real good. Almost done. I'm about to try and be fancy. I heated up some sauce. Wait, we don't need that much. Okay, okay, gotta do it like the chefs. Put a little dollop and then you spread it. Oh, I see in it. <laughs> I could definitely do more, but all right, let's let's get these out of here. Ooh, those look so good. Look at this, you guys, I made rice balls. Oh my God, so cute, wow. <laughs> well, that doesn't look very appropriate, does it? Put the chicken in the oven just so that it would stay warm because the oven's still kind of warm. Take this out. Let me see if I have fresh basil. Oh my god, this cheese that like crusted on the side. Mm. Just try and make it look pretty. Don't choke, Alyssa. I'm choking. I'm choking really hard. I've resorted to ripping it up. It looks fine. I'm gonna keep this little thing of sauce too that I heated up on the side while I eat because I'm gonna want to dip in more, but it looks cute for now. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a picture and then we're gonna do a taste test. Benji, are you ready to try? cut into it <gasps> it looks like a rice ball doesn't it Benj? oh my god wait i gotta show you guys this that looks amazing it looks like a real rice ball i gotta make real rice balls too one day i've never even made real rice balls actually and here i am making like wannabe ones honestly i feel like rice deserves more hype doesn't it Benj? it's so good like probably one of my favorite carbs but also like pasta and potatoes have my heart too so yeah i don't know okay here we go i'm trying it Mmm, that is actually really good. If you don't like cauliflower, then you definitely won't like it because cauliflower rice does taste like cauliflower. Like whoever says it tastes exactly like rice is lying to you. <laughs> but this satisfies the rice bowl craving, like 100%. Delicious, would recommend. Let's try a little bit of chicken. It was done before the recipe even said. Maybe my chicken was a little thinner. So it's, it's not gonna be the best I've ever made. It's probably gonna be a little dry. That's okay, we dip in some sauce. Mm -hmm. Still delicious. So like I said, this baked chicken is really good. If you want it to taste like real, like you really like fried it and got it from a restaurant, I would take it back out of the oven and then put it in a skillet. I could have, but I just didn't. And then put it in a skillet with marinara sauce and let it kind of like sizzle and put the cheese on top and let it melt. And it'll like marinate into the chicken cutlet. It's so good that way. But if you want to do it this way and have it be a little less work, you can just keep sauce on the side and dip it in. Still delicious. Also last thing, I feel like when you make this chicken cutlet, with the butter in the way that she does, does it and bake it. In my opinion, it's really similar to like fried on the stove. So, I mean, I usually really enjoy lighter versions of things, but I feel like even if you like the fried cutlets, you 
You think you would like this? Oh, these look so good. Where is she with Zane? Thanks. Alrighty. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Get a good amount of sauce on there. What I eventually ended up doing is eating it with my hand. So if you want to do that, you can. I'm curious to see what you think. Solid. Ca cauliflower. Yeah. They're not bad. They're good. Those need to leave them all in. No, I like them. Leave your ham. Leave your ham. I actually thought they tasted better that way. Mm, it tastes thin. Okay. No, it's good. Yeah. I like it. I think next time we could do more sausage. I'm not, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of cauliflower rice, so I'm not going to be like, yeah. oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever had. Yeah. But it's good. But if somebody likes to eat healthy and likes healthy I was going to say, it's right, like, we use three big, what are these, meatballs? No, they're uh, rice balls. Rice balls. For 250 cows, that's nothing. Mm. That's awesome. Yeah. Also, I would add peas in it. I like when rice balls have peas in them. Hmm. Yeah. I should have done that. Yeah, next time I'd do more, I would do peas and more sausage. It's good though. Yeah. I get a lot. They're satisfying. Like, they taste like a rice bowl. Mmm. Satisfying. Yeah, that's a good word. Yeah. I probably could have air fried them a little longer, too, to make them more crispy. Here I am eating ice cream. There's only a little left. Wow, so I cleaned up as I went today, and now we have a clean kitchen. It's so nice. Like, as the stuff was in the air fryer, I'm like, right, quick, I got nine minutes. Wash the dishes. And it, like, worked out well. I like, cleaned the counters and everything. Good to go. Honestly, we're just going to relax for the night. I'm going to get a little bit of work stuff done, and then I'm going to watch Mark and Idol and just chill. So nothing too exciting here for the rest of the night. So I'm going to end it here. Don't forget to go check out Yvette down below. I've been wearing this stuff all day. So comfy, so obsessed. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. We need to take it slow. Guess that's what happens when you hang in there for way too long. Girl, high key. You need to find somebody else besides me. Yeah, I understand that you like me.